All right, everybody, this is Brick Builder 2014 here, and we are back with another video. And today we have a tutorial. You guys have recently been asking me quite a bit about how I make my thumbnails and how I make them look so professional. So I figured I would show you guys how I do it, and I do it all completely for free. So you guys can do this too. I started by downloading paint.net, which will be in the description if you want to download it. And then what you do is you go to new, and you're going to type in this number these numbers because that right there will make you your thumbnail size this is the size of a thumbnail on YouTube when it's big what you want to do is you really want to shrink it down a bit so that way you see what it's gonna look like when it's on YouTube so next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go get a background from Minecraft or whatever game you're playing and there will be a seed in the description for a world that has all biomes within 2000 blocks as well as for shaders because you really want to use shaders if you can because it makes everything look so much better so what you're going to do is you're going to take one and you're going to copy it and paste it and you're going to keep the canvas size and then you kind of want to move it around till you find a spot you like some people say tilt it a bit but I personally don't like to tilt that much so I don't tilt it I leave it like that and that would be layer one then after that what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to get a render so I'm going to show you guys how I get my renders so this here is the website that I get most of my renders from. It is noviskin.me. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in your name here. Then you go to Pose. And then you can like choose a selected one. I personally use this one quite a bit. And then I just rotate it. And then, or you can do random and it will randomize poses. So you could do that. But we got to try to get a good one if we're going to do random. I think we're going to go for maybe we can do something like this where he's like jumping down okay that does not look good it's a little bit laggy so you just have to deal with it boom we'll do something like that but then you can make him hold items in his hand so I'm thinking maybe this will be like a pearl and a sword so then what you're gonna wanna do is after you're done with this to get it to be transparent background you go to save and then instead of saving the skin you want to go instead of using the render I just made though I'm gonna use one of my personal renders that I use all the time in my thumbnails so it's this one right here it's me holding two diamond axes so I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger because I do want him to play a part in the thumbnail and then I'm gonna go here and then after that I generally will go to effects object outline and I'll do an outline of usually five and for I could do white or I can do black or pretty much anything I think I'm gonna stick to the black because I like the black outline on him because it makes him a little bit more vibrant it makes him pop out just that extra little bit that I think we need so now we're gonna do text so how you wanna do text is I'm gonna go to the website this website here cooltext.com link will be in the description down below has a bunch of cool designs that you can choose and use and modify so I generally try to do this fade one. So we're gonna say that we are making, let's just name it, let's just, we gotta pick like whatever we wanna put as a text. So we're just gonna write Minecraft. And then for size, generally what I do is I'll do 250, and then I change how big I want it on the thumbnail. But if I do 250, that'll guarantee me that there'll be lots of pixels so it will look clean. Cause Making a picture bigger will make bigger pixels, but it doesn't make it look as organized or nice. Sometimes I'm going to want a shadow. I don't really want a shadow because then it's hard to do a stroke around it. And I can always change the color of the fade to whatever I want. So maybe I want something darker like this. And then you're going to save this. So after deciding which text I wanted to use and stuff, I figured out and I pop it on the page. Now that makes the Minecraft go through the entire top which actually I kinda like quite a bit but I don't want it on the same layer so I'm gonna remove it add a separate layer for it and pop it there but I think I want it centered so I do object align and then center vertically and that'll center it that, center it that way but we don't want it like that so we gotta do horizontally that's how those work I could also center both and it'll do both at the same time so now that's in the middle now instead of doing a stroke around it, since it already has a faint black stroke, I want to give it a drop shadow. And I'm going to do this just in red just so you guys can see it. I can make it as big or as bl and as blurry as I want. But I just want a nice little black drop shadow to make it look like it sort of is slightly above and faded out. 
behind this background. So that's like that part. So next we need to give a like focus item on the thumbnail, which is something I like to do. So we're gonna say it's an ender pearl on this. So here's our pearl right now. Now I could keep it just the normal colors and sometimes that looks best. But I feel like on this part on this particular thumbnail, I feel like it would look cool if the pearl was a different color. So what we do is we go to hue and saturation. So first we can see what it looks like when it's super saturated. See, we can just change the hue of the pearl. So maybe we want a red pearl. Boom. And then I'm going to add the stroke again in outline object because I think that stroke will give it a nice little touching, sort of make it blend with these because these are supposed to be the focus points. The last thing with the thumbnails coming right now. So lastly, what I like to do is I like to add some fire or lightning or something in the background. And for this one, I don't know why, but I guess since I'm feeling happy, we're going to do some fireworks. So we can just throw some fireworks here in the background because maybe we want a ton of games on whatever we're playing in this particular video. So we'll just throw some fireworks in there. And there you go. See, lots of fireworks. Very cool. And then we can combine the layers by doing that. And we can even throw a bit of a hue onto them if we find one that looks cool. So I'm thinking that, that looks pretty nice. Not much changed, but a little bit did. And maybe we can even throw a slight little drop shadow on them. But maybe we want to do a nice, like, bright color with a really small radius. So we could do something maybe red. That could work. But I think yellow might look good, too. So we'll do some yellow, because supposedly yellow looks good with these fireworks. So yeah, that works. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and this tutorial. Let me know down below if you need any help with anything. I will happily try to help you. And there'll be a bunch of links to things you need to know down in the description. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. But until then, this has been BrickBlue2014, and I am signing off until the next video. Bye, guys.